EPIC off-the-grid load power solutions. EPIC free energy from the sun. EPIC drain plug LED lighting. EPIC interior LED lighting. EPIC fish attraction and fun for parties at night. Yarkodius. Something EPIC on the water. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Sky here. You may have seen my other video where I removed the uh, the original radio that was in here. It was a Jensen brand. And you can see what I've got left is the uh, is the wiring harness that this is made to plug into the back of the Jensen. And then obviously, also I have, and I've only got two speakers in this boat, so these won't be used. Um, but also, I will be using these. So these are the RCA right and left that correspond with the speaker it's going to go there and then the speaker is also going, going to go on the other side of my boat. So you can check out all the videos where I install. I'm going to document the entire process on video. Uh, the first step is to cut these wires and then uh, mate them with the Kenwood wiring harness. So that will enable it to plug into the back of the Kenwood and that's that's the first step and I've already verified that the that the color of these cables both the Jensen and the Kenwood are the same so I can just match them up by looking at the colors if you're dealing with certain brands that may not be the case they may not use the standard color coding system for the wires so be sure to check before you dive in and start cutting and splicing but here we go step one I will wire I will cut this and wire these wires to the Kenwood. Okay, so now I'm actually going to cut these wires off of the wiring harness that was in there, which was the one for the Jensen. And I'm going to then match the wires with this, the one that came with the Kenwood that I'm installing. Again, check out my video description. You can find a link to all of the materials I'm using. Now it would be optimal to have a wire cutter, a wire stripper, uh, but I'm just going to use a pair of scissors because so I couldn't find my, I uh, couldn't find the wire stripper. I'll just cut these and then pull that out. You want to make sure these don't fall back in your boat because they may be hard to retrieve. So there we go, we've got everything out here now. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do, and I'm just going to do them in groups, they're kind of grouped together. You'll notice that like this purple one, there's one that's solid purple, and the one beside it has a black stripe on it. And you need to pay close attention to that because that's how you'll match everything up. But I'm just going to expose, cut down just barely close to the wire, and then pop this off so it can make contact. Now if you have four speakers, your setup is going to be different than mine because I've only got two. So that's important. Something I would recommend, the one that you took off, keep it, the one that was previously in there so you'll know exactly which wires you used. Be sure to use all those wires again. See, this is where a wire stripper would be nice. <laughs>
So once you've wired up your wiring harness, and you saw that uh, in the in the previous video, once you've wired that up, it's really simple. So you're going to have your uh, your audio left and right, the red and the white. That's going to plug into the back of your uh, Kenwood receiver. Uh, you're also going to have your antenna. Now I've actually got you can see it in there. It's this this little doohickey here. That's the antenna, but the wire, even though I've crawled underneath and tried to extend it, it's too short. And the reason being is that when this Kenwood goes in, the antenna port's on the opposite side. On the Jensen, it was over there. So I'm going to have to, uh, to get an extension before I can mount the antenna. But you're going to want to mount your, you're going to plug in your RCA left and right. That's the white and the red. Your antenna. And then uh, your, obviously, your, your plug that you wire to the wiring harness. And then this right here is for your microphone. Now that's important. You're going to want to be sure to put that on before you uh, finish installing everything in the dash. Because you're going to run that down below, and then you can mount this microphone on your windshield or your dash or wherever, so that you can, so that you can use the uh, the Bluetooth hands-free capabilities, which is really cool. And that's one of the main reasons I purchased the uh, uh, this Kenwood and decided to upgrade. So that's all the wires. So I guess now the true test before sliding it in the dash or anything would be. Now I don't have any speakers on it, but would be to plug this in and see if we get power here. Hey y'all, Captain Irix guy here, and you can see I've got it working now. Uh, there was a brief delay uh, before, I, before I made it work. Now there is a there was a small variation between the uh, Jensen and the uh, this Kenwood that I've installed, and that's the presence of a, what it referred to as, let me tell you what the wire was, because you'll probably run into this if you're doing it on a Bayliner 185. It was the yellow wire, which is a 12 volt constant slash memory. So I was able to fish around under the dash, find that wire, and was able to wire it up. Now everything works. The next step of this process, and it's a separate video, so be sure to check it out too, is I'm installing the speakers, and I'll connect the speakers and actually test the audio. So. Um, that's how to replace a, um, a a receiver in a Bayliner 185 boat. Like I said, I had the I had the Jensen before, uh, the one that came with it, and I've replaced it with a much superior uh, Kenwood with integrated Bluetooth and all kinds of other goodness receivers. So I've got it hanging out right now. Obviously, I haven't <laughs> finished screwing it in, but I just wanted to uh, to show that it works and it's an easy do-it-yourself project. So if you want to save some money, check this video's description. You can find a link to where you can order uh, the Kenwood receiver, also the connectors and, and everything. I'm going to put it all in one within that link. So the speakers, the, the connectors, the receiver, and feel free to shoot me a message if you have any direct questions and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.